Welcome everyone, and thank you for joining us for this deep dive session on the new IS. For the next few minutes, we wanna provide you with some additional background about the new 2021 IS. I'm Townsend Bell, and I currently race on the AIM Vassar Sullivan Lexus Racing Team in the number 12 RCF GT3. Joining me is the Vice President of Lexus Marketing, Lisa Matarazzo. Hi, Townsend. Well, I've spent my fair share of time in uh, Lexus vehicles, and the IS is truly one of my favorite cars in the lineup. I love how sort of small and nimble it is, and it's the perfect size for me for everyday sporty driving. And aside from having a strong enthusiast following, this car really appeals to a wide audience, doesn't it? It absolutely does. Since it was introduced in North America back in 2000, it's occupied a special place in our lineup and a pretty dedicated buyer, um, one that is the youngest and the most diverse of any vehicle in our lineup. Okay, let's get to the fun part. We've got a few questions from media outlets to help guide our chat today. So let's take the first question. Looks like our first question is from Clint at Motor One. From Lexus's perspective, is the new IS supposed to be viewed as a luxury car that's sporty or as a sports car that's luxurious? So I think that's a fair question, Lisa. You know, Lexus historically very much a luxury brand for the last 30 years. As we've moved into this sporty space, is this a luxury car trying to be sporty or do you really feel it's a sports car that has luxury amenities? Yeah, it's, it's a really good question, and I think the IS does a great job of walking the line between the two, but from a development standpoint, it's undeniable this vehicle is pure sports sedan. Well, and you see that just in terms of the dramatic upgrade over the previous model exterior-wise. I mean, it's so beautiful, it's so aggressive, muscular, uh, everything about it says sports car. Okay, Javier from Auto Proyecto has a good question. Hi, can you please explain why the engineers shift to the 19-inch wheels for the new F-Sport IS model? Well, 19-inch wheels, I mean, hey, they just look amazing. Larger wheels are, are always better in my opinion, but from a driver perspective, a race car driver, probably nobody better to answer this question than you. Um, tell us what you think about the 19-inch wheels. Well, it does a lot of things. First of all, you're gonna have a bigger contact patch for the tire, so you're gonna have more grip. The initial response by virtue of a shorter sidewall is gonna be a little crisper, a little more precise. But I think what's important is when the wheel gets bigger, invariably sometimes it can get heavier, you have to offset that somehow. And Lexus has done that with lighter suspension components, some things that we'll get into a little bit later. On that note, let's take a moment to explore some of the great new features of the new 2021 IS. Okay, I'm here with the new Lexus IS. Let's take a closer look. The exterior design immediately draws attention, but there's function to the form as well. The accent lines across the front end provide a distinct appearance, and they also highlight the low center of gravity design of the new IS. Look at the front end, and you'll notice the hood is lower, which also accents the wider wheel well arches to accommodate the larger wheels. The headlamps have a slimmer design that blends in nicely with the low profile hood. This F-Sport grille looks sharp, but it also has these functional air inlets to assist brake cooling. Along the sides, the sleek lines of the rocker panels flow all the way up through the rear wheel arch. Now the C-pillar here is reinforced for enhanced rigidity to assist with driving dynamics, but you'll also notice the roof line tapers downward sharply into this rear deck. The side profile silhouette evokes a coupe-like appearance. And how about the rear of this vehicle? The deck lid is crisp and it sets the tone for the dramatic blade-style taillight that is accented by L-shaped designs at each end. One of the coolest parts is how the blade design has a ridge to it. Underneath those good looks, though, are rigidity enhancements, which ultimately create a stiffer structure so that the IS can accommodate increased performance demands. Engineers look to reduce unsprung weight, so that means lighter coil springs, the use of aluminum A-arms, and lighter stabilizer bars. New swing valve shock absorbers feature ultra-low velocity valves in their pistons to manage oil flow in response to even the smallest road bumps. The new shocks provide consistent ride quality on all types of roads. F-Sport models feature a host of cool features that enhance the sporty soul of the IS. Things like the signature F-Sport grille, rear spoiler, and more. There are a few features that are my favorite though, like the stylish and throaty exhaust and diffuser. And you can't deny how great these new 19-inch F-Sport wheels look either. 
And how about this new circuit red interior color that's unique to F-Sport models? I love it. Inside are some great new tech upgrades like this 10.3 inch touchscreen that's closer to the driver and features Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and Alexa compatibility. When equipped with the new available Mark Levinson sound system, there are 17 speakers and a whopping 1800 watts. That's nearly a thousand more watts than the previous model. My favorite upgrade for F-Sport models has to be the dynamic handling package. This adds the adaptive variable suspension system, which has been fine-tuned to complement the changes on the new IS. Rear-wheel drive versions will also get a torsion limited slip differential that will help provide additional traction when you need it most. Let's talk about drive modes. The addition of Sport S Plus enhances performance by advancing the engine and transmission mapping and it also adjusts the EPS steering assist and damping force for sportier handling. The new IS is the first Lexus to receive the newest LSS Plus safety system, offering a host of safety features designed to help make the road safer. Now for 2021, the IS will be offered in rear wheel drive and all wheel drive options. Plus there are three different engine options available, highlighted by the 311 horsepower, three and a half liter V6 on F Sport models. The new IS, it's just loaded with new performance upgrades that make this sports sedan tough to beat. Well, Townsend, thanks for providing that insight. It was my pleasure. I just spent quite a bit of time in the previous IS, so I had a pretty good reference point, and it's very impressive how much things have evolved dynamically and certainly with the styling of the car. I simply love it. I can't wait to get into the new one. Well, we know some people, so I think we can make that happen. All right, and on that note, Greg from Autoblog has a question, and it's one that, frankly, I'm curious about also. Hey guys, Greg Migliore here from Autoblog. Thanks for doing this, this is really cool. Uh, let's everybody get more information about the car. Uh, my questions are, um, what did you benchmark uh, this new IS against? And then how did you differentiate this car's mission versus some of its competitors? Every car's gotta have an identity. I'm curious uh, how you created a new identity for this new version of the car. It's a really good question, and I think the, the secret for the IS is that combination between style and luxury and performance, and, and that's what really we were striving for in developing the car. It's what we know our buyers want, and so I'm happy we're able to deliver it, and also in this amazing package with really aggressive sheet metal, a bolder look, and something that's a real wow in the marketplace. You know, when I first saw it, it's what spoke to me first was this is a differentiator in that in that category. It's it, there's a wow factor when you first walk up to the new IS. That actually leads us to our next question. This one's from Colin at Car and Driver. How will these changes elevate the Lexus IS in the very competitive compact luxury sports sedan segment? So Lisa, is there a specific vehicle that Les Lexus identified and said, hey, that's the one we've got to beat. That is the benchmark. Well, we're always looking at the competitive set when we bring a new vehicle to market, and there are some uh, competitors that we benchmark, but at the end of the day, what we're really trying to do is bring to life the Lexus driving signature, and that's really, at its heart, it's all about connecting the driver to the vehicle so they have an amazing experience when they're behind the wheel. Of course, you can't develop a great driving signature unless you have a great facility to do that, so there's a question here about the new facility. This is Kevin Watts from Lexus Enthusiast. Can you explain the significance of the new test track and how does it compare to your other facilities? So let me just be clear. There is a several hundred million dollar investment. I'm just gonna guess based on what I've seen in this new test track. That is a significant commitment to high performance going forward. It definitely signals our commitment to performance and the facility is amazing. I actually had the opportunity to visit it. It's very impressive. It's modeled after Nürburgring, so you know the famous green hell, that track is grueling. And what it allowed our engineers to do is really push the limits when they were developing the new IS. And I think that's very apparent from the moment you get behind the wheel. You know what I loved about the visuals that I saw, I haven't been there myself, but just the overhead video, the drone shots of that track is incorporating all of those kind of natural undulations that you'd find on a real road. So the car and heave as it comes over, the off-camber corners, they're really challenging the vehicle and ultimately the engineers to do the very best job with that Lexus driving signature. And the new IS signifies a cultural shift with vehicle development in a way, right? 
Yeah, it absolutely does. Koji Sato, the president of Lexus International, talked about this new Lexus driving signature and how the IS is the first Lexus that really incorporates it and fully leverages the Shimoyama facility. And on that note, chief engineer of the new IS, Naoki Kobayashi, can provide additional insight. Texas が走りで大切にしているのはドライバーと車との対話です。ドライバーの意思が車に正確に伝わると同時に。路面や車の状態がドライバーに正確に伝わるそういう車との一体感が生まれた瞬間ドライバーは気持ちいいと感じるんです新型 IS ではスペックだけではなく人の感性に訴えかけてくる気持ちよさをひたすら目指しました通常領域から限界領域まで車と対話ができるために過酷な環境で車両を鍛え上げることが必要でしたそのために大変厳しいコースであるここ下山を開発拠点に選んだのです具体的にはレスポンスが良く正確でリニアな応答と素直なソーダフィールつながりの良いスムーズな動きを目指し徹底的にチューニングしました特にステアリングを切ってから戻すまたブレーキを踏んでから抜く時の手応えやコントロール性にこだわって開発をしましたまた、対話の邪魔となる騒音や振動は徹底的に排除しました。ぜひ、新型 IS にお乗りいただき、タイヤを楽しんでみてください。きっと、我々作り手の気概を感じていただけると思います。Lisa, that's great insight. It is, and it explains why we value the connection between the driver and the vehicle so very much. You know, trusting your vehicle and feeling like it's an extension of you is the ultimate connection that racers seek. Chris from Roadshow has a question about the new multimedia system. The new IS features a touchscreen, and for years, Lexus has steadfastly avoided that technology. Can you explain what's changed and why now? So, Lisa, personally, I love the touchpad. Your hand falls just naturally off the armrest to control that. And candidly, I don't like people touching my screens, whether it's my phone or my computer or in my car. What's changed now? You have both functionalities. Definitely. Well, we offer two because we know guests are kind of split on the remote touchpad or the touchscreen. So both are available. And I think the important thing to know is that we've moved the screen about three inches closer to the driver. So it's more convenient if you are using that touchscreen function. And then also for convenience, we have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and then we have Lexus Plus Alexa. Great. Jaime from Univision has a question for us. Knowing Mr. Akio's commitment to build fun cars, can we expect an ISF soon? Well, Lisa, I loved the last ISF. High horsepower is a drift machine, but this new IS, I mean, everybody's going to be asking is there a high horsepower version coming? Well, that's at least the second time that you've asked me that question, so let's see if you remember the answer. I think it was some sort of PR speak about not at liberty to discuss at this time, something like that.、Right? Yeah, see, that's why we're so lucky to have you on our race team because you are a quick study. But、um, yeah, you know, I can't really talk about what is or what isn't coming down the pipeline, but we're constantly listening to our guests, taking their feedback, and you never know what we might see in the future. So, to all you guests out there, get the feedback coming in. Let's ramp up the,、uh, ramp up the analytics on that for Lexus so they build one. Only thing I want to know is if it does come, can I drive it first?、Um, well, you can be second in line behind me. All right. How's that? Fair enough? Fair enough. Okay. Thank you all for joining us today. If you're looking for more information on the new IS, head over to Lexus.com. And if you've missed the earlier virtual reveal segment, head over to the Lexus YouTube page to check it out. Also, make sure to download the new Lexus AR Play app. It's pretty sweet. You can interact with the new IS wherever you are, from your living room to your driveway. It allows you to open the doors, customize the colors, explore features, and even turn it into a remote controlled car and drive it around. And we've got you covered for Apple and Android devices, both phones and tablets. Thank you again. We'll see you next time.